Love is patient and kind. Love doesn't envy or boast. It isn't arrogant, rude, or selfish. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. The life and actions of Lorne and Ted show me what love looks like. I can't think of a single person who wouldn't be welcome at their table. The Jesus that I know is smiling at the union of these two people, and hopefully their love will continue to show everyone a small piece of the love of Jesus. Lauren, I knew from the first night that we met that you were it. You're the most compassionate person I know, whether it be caring for your patients and animals or jumping into a new hobby you found on the internet. I am and will continue to be your biggest fan through everything you do. I promise to always be your teammate through life and take on the world by your side, even if that means facing something that makes either of us uncomfortable. I promise to protect you and always be there for you when you're feeling down. I will be honest with you, patient and forgiving, but most of all, the best friend you will ever need. I look forward to always making you laugh with my stupid jokes, trying new things with you, or making you eat something out of your comfort zone, and going on whatever new adventure you have cooked up to surprise me. But most of all, the only thing I care about is doing everything with you. Ted, I love you. I never want you to go a day in your life without knowing that. Throughout the years and many adventures we have gone on, I have continually learned more about you each day. I have learned what a truly good friend you are. I have learned how important family is to you, how kind, caring, and supportive you are. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for loving me exactly as I am. Thank you for always supporting me and being there for me. Thank you for caring for Sophie, Carl, and Cooper. Thank you for making me a priority in your life. Thank you for being you. <laughs> Ted, I promise to love you for exactly who you are. I promise to support you in whatever way you need. I promise to not buy another cat without asking you first. It left its toes up as a stray at the house, then I'm going to keep it. I promise to always be there through all the good and the bad. I promise not to let our kids go to Ohio State. <laughs> And I promise to always make you a priority in my life. I love you, and I'm excited for our future together. Lauren, with this ring, I am giving you my promise. To always love and cherish you. To always choose you. To be my husband, my partner, and my best friend. To be my wife, my partner, and my best friend. All, All the, the days, days of my, my life. life. Ted, do you take Lauren to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? I do. And Lauren, do you take Ted to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? I do. Now comes time for the ring ceremony. And traditionally, the point in the ceremony where the officiant will point out the incredibly obvious symbolism of a ring having no beginning and no end, and I hate that part, to tell a miner who found the material or the jeweler who formed it into something beautiful that a ring has no beginning is to overlook the hard work that went into it. And I think your love is a little bit like that. It started with two imperfect people working with not much, and you worked really hard over the years to turn it into something beautiful. So by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And Ted, you may kiss your bride. It is my pleasure to announce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ted and Lauren Hosa. My name is DJ Hector. Everybody say hi, Hector. Hi, Hector. Hi, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise in here! Please welcome right now, Parents of the Bride, Lee and Lynn McCrillis. Make some noise! Roland, please welcome Parents of the Groom, Ed and Denise Hosa. Come on! Our bridesmaid and bridesman, if you will, please welcome Caitlin, Sarah, Wesley, Shelby, and Elise. Our groomsmen this evening, Eric, Ryan, Adam, Greg, and Kevin! Dude of Honor and Best Man, Justin!
Austin McCrillis and Michael Hauser. Get up on your feet for the new Mr. and Mrs. Ted and Lauren Hauser. Teddy and I have been very close ever since the days that we shared a Looney Tunes bedroom. I'm surprised really that Teddy doesn't have any gray hairs, being that we've been brothers for 27 years. Clearly, he's made all of my hair fall out. <laughs> it was nice having him lead the way, uh, both going to Penn State together a couple years apart, but he made the decision a lot easier when I went to visit for Penn State football games. In college, he did, um, he did DJ for a little bit. Um, as you could see, he was not DJ Paul E.D. and he is a real estate expert at this point. He was DJ Tezza in case you want to look on SoundCloud later. <laughs> Our grandmother was very proud that he was his high school graduating class chaplain. In uh, typical Slovak Catholic grandmother fashion, she believed because that was the first stepping stone in priesthood. Um, it didn't happen, but um, we thought so for a little bit because it took him a while to link up with Lauren. <laughs> and then when he did, uh, my dad spilled the beans like he knows how to, doesn't keep a secret very well. He told me that uh, they had a nice date and they had Penn State Creamery ice cream. And once I found out that she was an avid Penn State fan as well, I knew that Teddy found his match. And then the other part of it was I knew he wasn't going to be dating an Ohio State or a Michigan fan. So from the Hosa family, we welcome you, Lauren, and we hope for many years of Penn State football game. <laughs> when I was, I think, 17 or 18. I babysat Lauren and her brother, Justin. They're like the two most competitive people ever. I didn't know at that point, even though I had been around for a while, how competitive they were. Um, but I banned every single game that we ever tried to play. Everyone. I never knew that Foursquare would be so bad. <laughs> like it was literally, we were, Two minutes into, we made the chalk of the four squares. We started playing, and literally within five minutes, I was like, I'm done. I was like, I can't play with you two anymore. Lauren is like a sister. She is known as Aunt Lauren to Rose and our son, James. I've only known Ted for a short while, but what I do know is he makes Lauren so happy. I love to see her smile when she looks at him. I'm just so happy for you guys. So if everyone could raise their glasses um, and just wishing Lauren and Ted many years of happiness. I love you guys so much. Heavenly Father, thank you for being with us this evening. And in a special way this evening, we remember all those family and friends that are no longer with us. I'm confident that they are looking down on us, smiling and enjoying the good time that we are having here 